हेलो एवरी वन एंड थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर हंड्रेड सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड थैंक्स फॉर हेल्पिंग मी आउट एंड हेल्पिंग दिस चैनल आउट सो टू सेलिब्रेट दिस इवेंट आई एम गोन क्रिएट अ लाइव सब्सक्राइबर काउंटर एंड आई विल नॉट यूज यूट्यूब डेटा ए पी आई और any kind of api that will help me get the subscriber count so that's going to be a challenging task to do anyways sit back relax and watch this video on full so the plan is to get the subscriber count from youtube website without using api that will fetch the subscriber count from the youtube channel page which user has entered so for that i will use java cause it's easy to connect to a server and request the web page in java and it is also easy to make ui compared to c or any other language so in the ui part i'm gonna display the count and underneath it i'm gonna write a text subscribers and then i will add a button named update count now and i will add a separator and then i will add text field in which user can enter the interval of time in between each update that is going to be user specified but by default i think 30 second interval is okay cause keeping in mind that we are fetching the data from a web page which has to be completely loaded it depends on your internet connection and speed so after that i will add a section or i will add a text field in which we can enter the link or channel id or oh, no link will be better so let's get started so i opened netbeans and created a new project called live sub count and it was a java application project then i removed all compiler generated comments cause they are annoying and i don't like them so i wanted a method that will give me an integer count by the way um when you have 1000 subscribers then youtube shows 1k and k is not integer so i suppose we have to use string so the method will take in url and it will return the string count if it's successful and if it failed to get the count it will return the word error or the error message what went wrong so i i typed the statement and then i created the new method public static string get count and arguments needed to pass in were string url and then i created a new object of url called page then i created a new object of url connect called connect then i created a new variable string which was named line and i initialized it to two double quotes with nothing in it and then i returned a line then i created try catch block and then i gave exception e as a parameter in catch and i returned that exception converting it into a string then in try block i initialized realized page to new url and gave it the url string and then i initialized connect to page dot open connection and then i created new input stream reader object after that i named it read and initialized it to new input stream reader and passed in connect dot get input stream comma utf8 as a string then i created new scanner and named it to line reader and i initialized it in next line to new scanner and passed in the parameter read then i created a while loop till line reader dot has next then i set the value of line to line reader dot next and i printed out the line variable so i will get the 
full web page in HTML or XML so I ran it and um, yeah it did a good job of printing the whole web page in the console window so that I could copy it and find the subscribers subscriber count and some tokens that will help me to find the subscriber count. I found YouTube logos SVG sitting inside the file and many other SVGs. So then I searched it, searched, searched, and I found the subscriber count. Once I found the subscriber count, I quickly added the conditions to fetch the subscriber count. So that function was working well. Then I created a new j frame form and um, i wanted to create a j panel form but at that point i didn't knew that so i created the form for easily generating the code so that i can later copy paste it and edit it according to me so now i'm gonna play a quick eight second form editing monetage Okay, after that, due to power cut or power fluctuation, I lost the footage of me copy and pasting the code from the form and switching files and uh, doing other stuff. So, here I am live in my PC to explain you the code, how it works and also I'm not voice over right now, but uh, voice over me is still here. Hey, voice over, say hi. Hello. Okay, where, so. Where, where the G form went? What? Okay, never where, mind. Let's where? continue. The G so, form. the. What? Yeah, okay, never the mind. G Let's form. continue. Yeah. Okay. Where the Ignore G him. Form went? Okay. Yeah, so, the here. G form. Yeah. What? Oh, what are you saying, dude? So now I have muted him. Now he can't talk. Let him see. So over here I only have one file. I pasted the other files content in this file. So here it has the package and all the imports. Then the main class. And I have two links over here. So this one is mine. And uh, this one you have to guess it so if you guess it then make sure you comment it in comment section i will read it and i will respond to it so here i have variables and this live means the subscriber count and here is the constructor and here i'm setting the look and feel of the ui then i'm creating a new j frame and j panel after that i'm setting some properties and setting title to live subscriber account and then i'm just setting the default close operation then over here i'm setting the bounds but you can see i have one extra pixel over here you will get that later so once I set everything over here and then I'm creating labels, button, a separator and text fields. So text field one is the interval of time in between two updates. So you can scroll on that text field to change the amount of time. So by default, I'm setting the subscriber account to 000 and I'm setting the font uh, after that alignments this is all copy pasted so you can see that it has this comments also I don't know what are those comments but okay I'm setting it focusable false then button and button has a secret feature which I'll tell you later then okay this is the secret feature sorry this is just a click event so after that i have text field one which has its things this much and then i have text field two which just says link 
and it is asking for link and then i'm adding the components then i'm creating a group layout which is all compiler generated i have just copy pasted oh, oh wait wait <laughs> so once that ends i'm adding this and then i'm changing the size to 600 by 600 so the reason i'm doing this is because if i just let this 600 by 600 at the start and i am not setting it to resizable and i'm setting it on always on top so none of the ui components appear if i don't resize it at start i don't know the exact reason what causes it but if i do this it seems to be fixed so after that i'm using a while to loop to get the subscriber count so i'm using time left as a time left variable to update the count and i'm sleeping till this loop ends and if it's successful then it says nothing but it, if it fails it logs the message and then i'm getting the link from the text box and after that i'm feeding it into the live and i'm setting it the label one to live and in main method i'm just creating the object of itself so over here we have public static get count which returns string so now the moment you all have been waiting for is clicking this button it's running and it appeared so as you can see it popped up over here and then teleported over there because my screen recorder forces the window to pop over here in center anyways now after 30 seconds the this will change this text will change to error because i'm not pasting in the link but as you can see it's always on top component if i select the background it's still on top and you can see that the error popped up and if i did this the error will still pop so let me minimize it and copy the link where it went yeah link i'm copying you and i'm changing link to oh this change yeah i pasted it right there and i'm pressing update okay it updated yeah good so i didn't click on it but okay you can see yeah now uh if i scroll on this thing as you can see if i'm clicking uh, you can't edit it but if i scroll on this as if i scroll up it will increase this is time in second so it will increase but as you can see if you want to set it like uh, an hour you have to go till 3600 you can't just like scroll it so the secret feature is on this update now button and if i scroll up like three or four i don't know how many i did and then after that i scroll up over here you can see that boom it increments it by six now if i do that many times now you can see it's faster uh, if i do it more times then it's more faster and now i can easily go till ten thousand yeah that's great but if i increase it now more 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 and also if you are in between update like let me see i will give the subscriber count of this channel to you guys and you have to guess it right you can't just leave it you have to guess the channel yeah if i press update count now you can see 14.7 million so go check out on youtube who has 14.7 million subscribers and comment down below and hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for 100 subscribers but it, at the point i'm recording i don't have 100 subscribers i have 96 yeah so goodbye have a nice time and if you want to continue watching my videos then make sure you click the most recommended one that's appearing on the screen and don't forget to subscribe so bye bye